Yo. Mm. I'm waiting for more and more people to join because this shit is like beyond ridiculous. Merry Christmas, y'all. But anyway, well, day after Christmas. Happy belated holidays and whatnot. But <clears throat> yeah, it's been a minute since I've been on live. And I, I'm well aware of that. I purposely don't go live because I refrain from... As hard as it may be to like believe, refrain a lot of my personal with... um. Can you close the door, Mia? my personal with social media so that's why i don't go live but i gotta wake up the day after christmas seeing some bullshit that didn't even take place and is fabricate fabricated and is a complete fucking lie i don't care i don't i don't care about what other people got going on i don't care about what other Women have going on in their life what headaches they got to deal with. That That's not my place. That's not my business. And that's not my concern. Like, I really don't care for it at all whatsoever. So, um, but freaking what you call it. I like a story was put out and basically it details how from T- TMZ, whoever put it out, I don't, I don't care. It's detailing how, you know, I'm keeping, I kept my daughter, or the headline was like, oh, Blinks, or whoever's fucking baby mama, because I am not defined by that nigga, is not letting them see their um, kid on Christmas. So when asked, they're not saying why or whatever the case is. First of all, this man hasn't spoken to my daughter in months. He didn't reach out for her birthday, Thanksgiving. I We haven't heard of that man having a concern about my daughter since like the beginning of September. That's one. So yeah, you're not supposed to pop. You're not going to just come around my family on holidays. Like shit is sweet, you know. I was hurt that I was hurt for my daughter that you can not even make the effort or set aside the time to go ahead and, you know, make her birthday special on your end. Her birthday is always going to be special because I take care of her and she's going to always have shit with or without him. But that's not the point. You feel me? He likes to go on social media. My daughter this, my daughter that. Oh, I want to be home so I can see my daughter. The nigga don't even see his daughter. He don't pay no child support. He hasn't called in months. Like, after already going on a year and a half of not... Having no communication with my daughter at all. Because he completely, like, just cut off my daughter for no reason. Like, a four-year-old did something to him. Imagine that. Um, Yeah, it's just like... So, a story was put out, and I just made it very clear. I was like, you know, he's not stable. He has no sense of stability. He He's moving around. He has security. He's not safe nowhere he's going. He's getting to altercations. He's going in fucking... Infested places with fucking people with no mask and shit. Like, come on now. Like, you're going to strip clubs. You're doing all this extra shit. You're beefing with people. You haven't seen your daughter in months. You didn't even call on her birthday. You haven't done nothing right that you said you was going to do right on your end to be the father that my daughter deserves. That's just straight like that. No kid deserves a half ass parent. And that's one. Like... He, he, his life has been a complete mess since he's got, gotten out of jail. And y'all just don't know that because he's been off of social media. The boy done overdose. He's done the, did mad shit, bro. That's the reason why I don't feel safe having him around my daughter until he proves himself to be in the right place in life. Like, come on now. And I'm not bitter and I'm not wrong for that. But what I'm not going to do, because I haven't said shit about him. I haven't got on live and I haven't and I wasn't going to say anything. 
But what you're not going to do is, rep- like, have your team, the moment a story that comes out about you that is true, you're a deadbeat, bro. You don't do nothing for your daughter. Your mother is so disgusted with you. She spent the holidays with us. All right? Literally, his mom was just with us, okay? For Christmas Eve and Christmas. So let's not even go there. Um... Yeah, so that should tell you enough. I don't stop nobody from seeing their kid if they made the effort to and to do right. You feel me? I don't stop nobody on his family. His mom spends the the holidays comfortable with us. But why is she the only one on that side bringing gifts? Even though it's like you can even send gifts with your mother that you knew she was going to spend the holiday with us. Like I'm not understanding. Not one gift. One. One. Bro. Uh, he couldn't even make a call. So that's, I'm not hearing nothing. Don't be having your team. The moment, the day, the day that a story breaks out, um, that your shit father basically for Christmas and just overall, don't we ever in your life put, have your team or whoever that fat nigga Murphy, whoever the fuck is doing your shit, go ahead and ever lie on me and say that I put my hands on you. Or I, we got into an altercation on Christmas Eve. You weren't even here. You weren't present. You're never present. How did I see you? I did not see this man. I haven't seen this man since the beginning of September. So how did I get into an altercation with you? Don't be like putting out, like, especially the lie incorporated my daughter. The story incorporated my daughter just running into the street. Okay. Ain't no way in hell is my daughter outside just running into the street. For her, for someone that she calls her friend, she doesn't, every time she sees him, she says friend. She don't even identify him as her dad. She says friend. So I doubt my daughter was so hurt and um, heartbroken. That, that, that's not even a situation. Like, he wasn't even here. I don't know where this man be about his business or whatever the case is. I don't care. That boy can't do nothing about... Bro, let him try. Let him try because I've been... As much shit as I talk... Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. But I haven't made this nigga's life hard at all. I haven't made this man's life hard as a lot of other baby mothers would. Or a lot of money-hungry bitches in the industry that get pregnant by fucking these rappers and shit like that. Like, get out of here. Don't be lying on my on my name. Don't don't even say my mom. First of all, he has communication with my mom. He talks to he talks to my mom. All right. So for you to like lie to make your story seem more believable and throw the baby in the story and throw my mom. My mom's never put hands on you. My mom's like you're lucky. My mom never smacked the shit out of you. That's one. Like don't. Like, it's, I, I, I just woke up not too long ago. I'm waking up. I'm getting called. All these are, I don't, I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. But it's just like, it completely blindsided me. Because I know I haven't been mixy. I haven't been throwing myself out there on live or on my social media. Or whatever the fucking case is. I've been very inactive, at, to be quite honest with everybody. Um, for, a pers- for this personal fucking reason. And that's just what it is. First of all, the nigga never travels anywhere without a mask. That's one. He acts like we're not in a whole pandemic. Meanwhile, that was his excuse for getting an early fucking release. He's a liar. He's a narcissist. He's a hypocrite. Everything he says comes out his ass. He always has a story to cover something else up that was fucking said about him. It's just like... Like, I've been completely fucking chilling. That's one thing. Like, no one, no one knows what's going on in my life. No one. I completely cut everybody out of my life. I cut everybody off. And for the the ones that are around, they're basically fucking inactive, too. So, ain't no way in hell anybody knows any of my personal shit on here. 
because I refrained from it all. You feel me? I didn't want to wake up the day after Christmas and see a story that involves my mom and my daughter that's a complete lie because he don't want nobody to know the truth that he's a piece of shit dad. Don't leave me completely out of it. All right. That's I don't I don't even talk to you. I don't talk to you. I haven't seen you since September. I don't care to talk to you. You're not making an effort or showing interest or just being genuine about wanting to be in the baby's life. Then I don't really need to talk to you. So that's where I just take it for what it is. But stop using the baby as a pawn to clean up your image because you're a deadbeat. It's, yeah, it's, it's one thing. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, I sit here and y'all eat up his bullshit on live. Like, y'all eat up his bullshit on Instagram. Yes, it's entertaining. But, like, he's, like, the biggest fucking capper, bro. Ever. And it's it's sad that it took him to snitch for y'all to fucking, like, understand that. I don't talk about what he got going on. I don't talk about... I don't even give the fucking man a hard time, bro. I don't talk about his bitch. I don't talk about... Like, just... If you're not going to do your job, leave us alone. Don't man... Like, don't... Don't mention us. Like... But you are. You are. So... That's that. I personally never, like... I'm not with him. I don't have to put my hands on you. And ain't no way in hell that I'm not with him. And he's going to ever think he can ever get a, a argument or altercation or any of that out of me. You do that with your bitch, not with me. I'm not going to waste my time. Been there, done that. So. I don't care, bro. I don't like that. Ironically, someone who you did, uh, someone who you did an interview with before, Lisa Evers from Fox or whatever, she's the one that put out the story that me and this fucking bozo ass nigga got into a fight yesterday. That's because your team sent that story over to her and she's not going to question it. Like, the fuck? Uh, that nigga got lawsuits. He got a whole bunch of shit going on with himself. That I don't, I, yo. I I am sincerely. I sh- I should sincerely be the least of his worries that he has to mention me. My hair's so long. My hair's getting long, right? No, it's, it's simple. Don't tell a, a whack ass fake story, fake news to cover up the truth. You're a shit dad. That's it. You missed out on the holidays like you did every other year. You missed out on time like you did every other time. Like, I'm just over it. Like, I don't even want to sit here and talk about how much of a shit dad he is anymore. That's why I stopped going live. That's why I stopped posting. That's why I don't do. I've been very late. Chill. I've been tranquila. I've been like calm. So like, for me to wake up the day after Christmas, the holidays, being around family and shit like that, to hear some stupid bullshit like, his mom spent the spent Christmas Eve and Christmas with us. Like, I doubt any of that is taking place like in front of your mom, and she's okay with it. Especially like, no, he didn't buy the baby no presents. He didn't. He could have sent them with his mom. He's not He's not sending... He didn't send nothing with his mom. His mom came with her present. She made it very clear. These are things she bought her daughter. I mean, her granddaughter. These are her presents from, from her to her granddaughter. She didn't say, oh, this is from your dad or to my daughter. She didn't say, oh, Danny sent this for her. Nothing. Okay. I'm bitter, but his mom spent the holidays with us. His mom is 
treated like she gets treated like family nonetheless or whether despite me not being with her son that's my daughter's grandmother yeah we had our differences but she she's the only one that actually makes an effort and wants to be in the baby's life so i'm not gonna shit on her and tell her she can't spend a holiday i'm not gonna treat her no different because she doesn't treat my daughter no different despite the fact that her son treats his own daughter differently you know i'm not That nigga is the fucking capper, okay? I'm just so tired because I haven't, I haven't said anything about. I just been letting the situation be because I was just like, what the fuck, I'm gonna be on here saying like my personal life for? Why am I gonna? Give y'all anything to feed off of. At the end of the day, y'all run with whatever the fuck y'all run with. And that's not my problem, you know? My problem is what I give y'all to run off with. You feel me? I'm not going to give y'all anything to run off with. But what I am going to do this, I'll make, since I'm in the holiday spirit and whatnot, I'll make the exception and set the fucking record straight, though. You're a bum. You don't take care of your kid. You're a capper. And stop lying. That's it. You don't do shit. I don't ask you for shit. My family doesn't ask you for shit. The fucking bare minimum. Nigga, call to check up on your daughter. See what she needs. And make time. That's it. I don't... I'm not expecting him to dev- devote all his time to his daughter. I know what kind of life he has to have now. Like, I, I'll i be crazy to, like, ex- expect that. But there's men who do it and go above and beyond for the kids. So why can't he, like... And at that, my daughter is, like, no, I can't. This is. Like, sincerely, I didn't, I, I didn't even want to get up and do this, but I was not going to let people DM me or send me this little fake story and not clear it up. I haven't put my hands on this man. I did, haven't seen him in months. That is not true. Not true. He didn't even make the effort to even call his daughter on Christmas, let alone show up to wherever we were celebrating for that altercation to just happen. Um, he completely made that up and pulled it out of his ass. Mm, I, yeah, I, I, I see the little bitter word being thrown out there from men. So, like, that's no shocker. But bitter in what way? He could have, had he done what he was supposed to do, maybe he could have had his daughter with him for Christmas or Christmas Eve. One of those days, there's two fucking days that you can celebrate this shit. Like, I, for me to even, like, I'm not. He didn't care. He didn't make the initiative. He don't. He still don't care. So that story is completely fake. It's fictional, just like his life. Okay, so you will be really dumb to go ahead and really pay him mind. Okay, don't pay that man mind because he's not right in the head. He's not right in life. No matter how much money he has. Um, I, I, I could just go on. He will say whatever to keep himself in the fucking, in the limelight or just his 15 minutes or whatever the fuck it is. And he don't care who he involves and who he throws in. People that he's good with, people that he's not good with. He don't care. Like, you can be a casualty by four with, with him. Obviously, look at the... The people that used to hang out with him, where are they? Like, y'all stupid. Don't. Merry Christmas. I'm just completely over it. I got stuff to tend to. And it's just like, what I'm not going to do, though, don't ever in your life fix your lips to go ahead and have tell your story tell your team or whoever the fuck you're gonna tell to put out some bullshit story like that don't do that